Welcome to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. Brought to you by the Brad Schmidt Agency, Collision Pro, First Community Bank, First Interstate Bank, Montana Motorsports and Marine, the Montana Tobacco Quitlock, 1-800-QUIT-NOW, Opportunity Bank, Select Realty, and your local Ford store. And now, from the Quarry Bar and Grill at the Holiday Inn, downtown Helena, here's your host, Jarek Walcott. Welcome to the Saints Wrap-Up Show. I'm your host, Jarek Walcott. Today we're joined by head coach Mike Van Dees, fresh off the Saints' 27-10 win over Rocky Mountain. We're also joined by cross-country runner Leah Esposito and senior defensive lineman Sean Condon. It's hard to be in college and not be focused. Being an athlete even helps you become more and more focused. If I don't stay focused, I fall way behind on schoolwork. A lot of homework on the bus and in hotel room. This is one of the most formational times in your life, and so it's important to make healthy choices. Because people who are tobacco free just do better in school. I don't use tobacco. I feel like your body is your temple. I don't think I'd be the person I am today if I had used tobacco products. I'm focused on a tobacco free generation. We all want to protect what's important to us, but sometimes it's difficult to take that first step. I'll hold your hand and lead you through those first precious steps. The rest is easy. Before you know it, you'll be up and running. Time doesn't stand still. Take those steps to protect your world. Call or stop by the Brad Schmidt Agency today. Wow, it's a 2014 Ford Escape. Very sharp. EcoBoost, huh? Hmm, that MPG will save some money. How about capability? Intelligent four-wheel drive? Perfect for our weather. Back here, foot-activated lift gate. Oh, now that is smart. And now get up to $3,000 cash back on a new Escape with Sync and Sound. Or lease one for just $2.19 a month? It's the one for me. Reinvented for all, equipped for you. So you can go further. See your local Ford store today. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them, with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. Welcome back, Saints fans. Let's jump right into the highlights of this exciting game. A crisp morning at Nelson Stadium turned into a beautiful day for football. Let's get into the action. On the first drive of the game, after a long drive, the Saints find themselves at the 13-yard line. Mac Roche finds Jordan Pine coming out of the backfield to give the Saints a 7-0 lead. The Bears would answer on the ensuing drive. Rocky quarterback Bryce Baker breaks a tackle for a long gain on fourth down. That would set up this 31-yard field goal. In the second quarter, Matt Roach finds Anthony Clark wide open downfield. Clark slips on the play, however, before he can turn up the field. Two plays later, Roach scrambles, gets up the middle, and fights for the extra yards. But a Rocky player strips the ball, and Rocky recovers. That fumble could have been devastating for the Saints, but the Carroll defense steps up to the challenge. Baker throws down the middle of the field. Ryan Gregory defends the, the pass, and the ball falls into the hands of James Dowgan. Later in the second quarter, deep in Carroll territory, the Saints are just trying to get some breathing room, but they would get much more than that. Dustin Reeker finds a seam and makes his way all the way up to the rocky 28-yard line. That big Rinker run would set up a, a Matt Weiss field goal to give Carroll a 10-3 lead at the half. After the break, Rocky gets the ball first and starts moving. Quarterback Bryce Baker finds his tight ends on back to back to back plays to set up his own touchdown run. From the one yard line, he dives in for the score to tie the game up at 
still tied at 10, and after a Reese Felton punt buries the Bears deep in rocky territory, Baker fumbles a snap and Sean Conan jumps on the ball for his first touchdown as a Saint. On the next Carroll possession, Roach sees green and takes off up the field. He's driven out of bounds at the 10, but that would set up another Weiss field goal to give the Saints a 20-10 advantage. On the next rocky drive, the Saints force a punt, but the snap hits the up man and Shane Durbin is Johnny on the spot to pick up the fumble. On the ensuing drive, Roach finds Dylan Simak who gets upfield for a big game. That pass would set the table for Mac Roach, who found Jared Marinak in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Carroll College. That score would hold, and the Saints come out of the game with a 27-10 victory. Welcome back, Saints fans. I'm now joined by head coach Mike Van Dies. Coach, big win over a tough team. Uh, can you recap yesterday's win? Well, it's a lot of uh, anxious moments going into a game like this with Rocky Mountain. You know, at one time they were ranked fifth in the nation. Uh, coming off of a great season last year, Brian Armstrong, I think, is one of the best young coaches in the country. And, uh, they they make, give a, a lot of headaches to defensive coaches with the passing attack with McCall and Catlin. And Baker's been a four-year starter at quarterback. So, uh, yeah, we had a lot of anxious moments going into this game. A uh, big start with that opening drive. Uh, what was your mindset going into that, and how, how did that make you feel? Well, it's great to see that, but sometimes I think a team will maybe take it too much to heart and think, hey, this is way too easy. And you go down there in two and a half minutes and you score. And uh, we did everything right. I thought Nick called a great game. Uh, uh, obviously, Mac Roach executed the offense very well, and uh, the touchdown to Pine was a big play. But at the same time, one of the things that you hope for is that you keep that momentum going, and we kind of lost it. Uh, with a lot of uh, penalties throughout the first half. Yeah, a lot of penalties. Uh, both defenses stiffened up there in, in the first half, and there wasn't a, a ton of scoring for these two teams. Well, we thought we could move the ball a little bit. Uh, we thought we could, if we could, uh, you know, run the ball a little bit better, which we did in the second half. But I thought throughout the game our pass protection was great. I thought our offensive line gave Mac a lot of time to throw. Uh, there was times he had four or five seconds back there, and then a couple times when he scrambled, he picked up uh, very valuable yardage. But again, the receivers made some remarkable catches. Uh, second half started, they they drove right down, getting the ball there, tight ends quite a quite a few times during that opening drive in the second half, and tied the game up. Well, I didn't communicate very well. I was trying to get some calls in. I called a couple wrong coverages. I was trying to get them checked before the play was off, and we didn't get it. And you know, we were trying to get a coverage that we worked on during the week, and it, it just didn't work out. But uh, we did some good things after that. That was a drive they kind of caught us off guard with their personnel, a little bit different than we've seen before. Special teams kind of set up that, uh, uh, you know, they give them the ball in the six, and then Sean Conning comes up with a big play there to kind of break the tie. Well, Reese Fallon did a great job playing all day. He pinned him inside the 15 one time on that one there. If we could have been a little bit quicker, we could have recovered him on the two-yard line. But uh, as it worked out, it's a lot more fun to see our defense score and Sean and uh, Dakota and everybody having fun in the, in the end zone. It was a great play. Uh, then the offense started going. They started getting picked up a little bit. Uh, what, what was going on with there? What was Nick seeing and calling? Well, I think he called the same game. I don't think he changed anything. I think what it was is we had to quit uh, getting penalties. We had three 15-yard penalties. We had a couple of pre-snap penalties. And uh, any time it takes you out of that uh, position where it's first and 20 or it's second and 15, is really tough to overcome. Uh, how do you guys get? Uh, how do you get the guys uh, changing that mindset, getting those, getting rid of those penalties going forward? Coach Hogan will take care of that at practice this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good, Coach. Uh, we're gonna take a look at. Uh, last week's results as we go to break and we'll be right back with Coach Van Deest. There's always something going on at the Quarry Bar and Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the Walking Mall. Visit Collision Pro online for the ultimate auto body experience. Find help in dealing with insurance questions as well as auto repair. 
from paint to parts to our armor coat protectant, we have the information you're looking for. Check out real customer stories about Collision Pro's professionalism and quality service, and you can follow the progress of your car online. CollisionPro.com, your gateway to the ultimate auto body experience. You live for life's finest moments, like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Motorsports and Marine in Helena. Upgrade, it means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style, your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. There's always something going on at the Quarry Bar and Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the walking mall. Welcome back Saints fans. Uh, Coach, you have an opponent this week that comes in. It's, it's, it's something new, something different. Uh, they shuttered their program over 30 years ago. Um, and now the College of Idaho is back in the Frontier Conference as a first year program. Well, by the time we're playing them now, they're all, almost not a first year program. I wish we would have had them the first two weeks when they're still trying to find themselves. But they've done a remarkable job over there. The coaching staff uh, had a year to put that program together. They recruited well. They had a chance to practice. They had an exhibition game, I think, against uh, Whitworth during the season. That kind of set the tempo for them. And they've won four games in the conference. And I think they've done extremely well. Uh, they're very well coached. They've got a quarterback that's uh, very, very athletic. And they're going to run a little bit more of an option than we've seen in the past. Now, as far as you guys, this is a this is senior day. Senior day. Uh, what does it mean for the senior class when you look at some of the defensive guys? And, of course, Dustin Rinker. Well, it's a very emotional day. Uh, you know, the seniors have been here for four or five years. Some transferred in. Uh, some have been here with us since their first day as a freshman on campus. And, you know, it's a great, uh, I think it's a great opportunity. I, I hope the, the community of Helen and the state of Montana will come out and honor these guys. When you look at what Sean Condon and Grotman and, you know, uh, Sean Bluequist has done, the code Amy up front of the defensive line, Daniel Simmons and Alex Cassis, Cooper, uh, Raker, Clark, all those guys. There's so many seniors. I think we have 19 seniors. That uh, is a pretty special day. It's very emotional, but we play for the seniors, and they're going to have a chance to go out, and uh, hopefully we can uh, take care of business on Saturday. So, like you said, College of Idaho has, has four wins on the season, um, and they've been playing. They've been right in with everything. Is it is a little bit more beneficial to get them maybe late in the season because you do have that film on them and you can kind of see what they're running? Well, definitely. It'll give us a chance to see the things they do offensively and defensively, look at their personnel. I don't think they've had many injuries. I think they've, played, they've stayed pretty healthy. So uh, it's going to be an interesting game. Uh, we've got to play as, as maybe one of our better games of the year. Um, all right, Coach. So close out this game. I know this is all you're thinking about right now. Um, we, we look forward to watching it. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at our upcoming Carroll College athletic events. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them, with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. The Holiday Inn Conference Center downtown, Helena's only hotel on the historic walking mall. We offer everything you expect, comfortable rooms, a large pool, and an up-to-date conference center. 
Plus, we're just steps away from shopping and dining, and we feature the Quarry Bar and Grill, Helena's ultimate sports bar. Contact the Holiday Inn today at 406-443-2200. Hi, I'm Carly, front office manager here at the Holiday Inn downtown Helena. Come visit us for sleeping rooms and meeting rooms. There are heroes all around us. Firefighters, emergency medical technicians, military and veterans, law enforcement, teachers, and healthcare workers. Select Realty thinks you deserve a break when buying, selling, or refinancing a home. We are the exclusive Homes for Heroes partner in the Helena area. We can provide extraordinary savings of up to $2,000. Call us or sign up today. Homes for Heroes can make a difference. Choices, choices, choices. Select Realty. As a student, as an athlete, it is so important to stay focused. I maintain my focus just by working my hardest in absolutely everything I do. When you step on the mat, it's only you and another person, and making healthy choices is the first step. Depending on what I eat, my nutrition, the people I hang out with, not using tobacco. I don't think I'd be the person I am today if I had used tobacco products. The community follows those teams that are respectful. I love being a role model for kids all across the state. I'm focused on a tobacco-free generation. Welcome back to the show. I'm joined by senior defensive lineman Sean Condon. Sean, before the game even got started, you'd already had a big day because you were named the National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete of the Day. How does it feel to be recognized for all the work you do outside of the football field? Uh, it, it was uh, really neat, especially because I didn't even know about it until it got announced at the game. So uh, that was kind of cool. And uh, it's just like you said, it's nice to get uh, recognized for all the extra stuff we do. Uh, we put a lot of time in uh, for our football work, but uh, we also put a lot of time in the classroom. So. Now, now, can you kind of go through how many, I mean, how many hours a week do you spend on football? And then how many hours on classwork and all that stuff? As a biology major, 3.9, seven GPA, mm -hmm. how, how, how do you deal with all that work? Uh, you know, especially during the season, it, uh, it gets tough sometimes, um, especially Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays when we have practice. Um, by the time you get done with practice, you eat dinner, usually get to start studying or whatever. I mean, it's eight o'clock and you've got to put a couple hours in, so you don't, you don't get as much sleep, but uh, we're able to figure it out. All right, well, when it comes to the game, a big game for you, uh, mm -hmm. four tackles and uh, a pivotal play in that uh, fumble recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was big. I mean, it was my first touchdown, so that was exciting. Um, but like you said, it was uh, a momentum shifter, and uh, that's how football works. Um, we took the momentum and we ran with it and uh, didn't look back. So you've been, I mean, you've been playing for four years, and this is your first touchdown. Uh, comes in your second to last home. Uh, regular season game. How does it feel to, to pick up that, find, see that ball yeah. in the end zone? It's kind of like a gift to you. Yeah, it was really, it was really special. And I also actually wasn't quite sure if I got in, and I saw the ref put his hands up right there, and everyone just started going crazy. And it was, it was awesome. Uh, like you said, it was great to do it at home, uh, second to last game of the season. It was, it was special. I won't forget it. So your family was obviously in the crowd. Mm -hmm. what, what were they telling you after the game? <laughs> Well, my mom didn't even know it was a touchdown until she uh, she was confused as to why there were six points on the board. And my dad's like, well, he scored a touchdown. And she didn't think I got in, but uh, they were excited. They were really excited, probably more so than I was. So, uh, You have College of Idaho coming in this mm -hmm. week. It's not a team that you, obviously, you haven't played these guys before. You don't know any of their players. How do you prepare for a team like that? Um, well, it's actually really good preparation for playoff football because that's exactly what playoff football usually is. You, you uh, are watching these guys for the first time. We've never played this offense. Um, I think it's, it, it's exciting and it's a fun opportunity for us. So you get this, this last game and then you got to close it out. How, what's the attitude in the locker room? Um, well, Coach uh, talked about it after the game in the locker room. Uh, this game's for the Frontier Conference Championship, so we're we're gonna look at it as it's a huge game. I mean, the conference championships on the line, and we're gonna practice like that all week. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, Sean. Congratulations on your first touchdown and uh, for that academic award. We're gonna move on and look at the student athletes of the week and the play of the week. Today's play of the week is Sean Condon's third quarter fumble recovery in the end zone. The touchdown would break a 10-10 tie and spark a 17-0 Carroll run to end the game. Today's Student Athletes of the Week are Frontier North Star Cross Country Champions David Thor and Leah Esposito. 
Thor led the men's team to the conference championship, and Esposito led this women's team to a second place finish. You live for life's finest moments, like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Motorsports and Marine in Helena. Upgrade. It means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style, your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. Check it out, the 2014 Ford F-150. Looks great, but let's build one for me. I need a 4x4 with plenty of power, because back here I'll be pulling my boat. Add some chrome, 18s, ooh, some fog lamps, nice. The XLT 4x4, what's this? Just announced, get over $10,000 in total value on F-150, or lease one for $259 a month? Now just gotta choose a color, ooh, black. The XLT F-150. Better hurry. It all ends soon. I maintain my focus just by working my hardest in absolutely everything I do. In the classroom, on the court, at practice, wherever you're at. My classes are very rigorous. At the same time, you need to be able to stay focused and make the right choices and stay on top of things. Tobacco use would definitely be a negative effect on a student-athlete. Using tobacco really decreases the performance of any athlete. I wouldn't be able to dance. I wouldn't be able to hang out with my friends. I wouldn't be able to hike the M. I think that it would make me less of a focused student. Distract me from my sport and distract me from my academics. I'm focused on a tobacco-free generation. Welcome back, Saints fans. I'm joined with uh, Frontier North Star Cross Country Women's Champion, Leah Esposito. Leah, how does it feel to be a champion? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> I don't feel much different than I did yesterday, but it feels good. Tell me about the race a little bit. Uh, it, it seemed like, uh, talking to Coach Morris, uh, you guys made a move in the middle of the race, and overall I think he was disappointed that the team didn't win the championship, but you still came out on top. Yeah, um, well, our plan was to take the first mile kind of easy, and then after the mile marker to just kind of put on a surge and hopefully lose the LCSC and the Rocky people that were with us and kind of tire them out and then um, the back runners could catch them a little bit better. Um, it didn't end up working as well as we wanted to because the first mile went out pretty fast anyways and then once we put the surge on at the second during the second mile everyone was pretty it was pretty hard for everyone to keep up so that itself didn't go as well as we hoped but the the other runners did fall off kind of so that worked but um, and it was hard for me too because it was so fast at the beginning but yeah that's pretty much how it <laughs> um, so you have to prepare for nationals which talking to coach Morris again it's a, it's a it's a weird course how do you get ready for for that um, that race right well I'm pretty sh um, all of the work we've done so far this year that's that's gonna be what's preparing us for the most part as far as these two weeks go before nationals I think we're gonna work on maybe just a little bit of speed work to work on um, running at sea level running fast at sea level but other than that, I don't think there's a lot we can do because we're going to be on taper. We're going to be taking it a little bit easier these next two weeks. So everything we've done so far this year has prepared us for um, nationals. That's pretty much what we were training for all year. Um, so the men, you got a chance to watch the men's race. And, I mean, they for the top five, how exciting was that race for the men? Oh, it was extremely nerve-wracking to watch. It was a very close race for the first until the last mile and a half. Everyone was, didn't want to, no one wanted to lead. Everyone was clumped together, which doesn't normally happen. Usually they're strung out after maybe the second mile, but everyone was together until the last mile and a half. And I think it was a very strategic um, race, but it was a very exciting finish. David Thor had a great finish. He beat out um, the top LC guy at the end. And then Lyle had a good finish as well. And then all, I think all the boys just, had a phenomenal race and they raced smart and I think it just worked out really well for them. 
All right, thanks for joining us today. Uh, to recap, the, the men's cross country team took the Big Sky, or the Frontier Conference Championship. Uh, Leah won the championship, and uh, David Thor won the championship. So we're going to head to the break, but let's take a look at the Frontier Conference standings. There's always something going on at the Quarry Bar and Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the walking mall. Before you start your search. For the largest investment in your life. First Community Bank is here. Pre-qualification is easy. In most cases, it's the same day. For first time home buyers and new construction or your home away from home. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The Holiday Inn Conference Center downtown, Helena's only hotel on the historic walking mall. We offer everything you expect, comfortable rooms, a large pool, and an up-to-date conference center. Plus, we're just steps away from shopping and dining, and we feature the Quarry Bar and Grill, Helena's ultimate sports bar. Contact the Holiday Inn today at 406-443-2200. Hi, I'm Carly, front office manager here at the Holiday Inn downtown Helena. Come visit us for sleeping rooms and meeting rooms. There are heroes all around us. Firefighters, emergency medical technicians, military and veterans, law enforcement, teachers, and healthcare workers. Select Realty thinks you deserve a break when buying, selling, or refinancing a home. We are the exclusive Homes for Heroes partner in the Helena area. We can provide extraordinary savings of up to $2,000. Call us or sign up today. Homes for Heroes can make a difference. Choices, choices, choices. Select Realty. There's always something going on at the Quarry Bar and Grill. Come check out our lunch specials. We make them every day from scratch. Our serving staff is great and we'll take care of you like family. Located on the walking mall. Thanks for joining us for today's show. A big thank you to head coach Mike Van Deese, Sean Condon, and Frontier Cross Country Champion Leah Esposito. Remember Saints, the Carroll women's basketball team hosts Dakota Westland on Friday at 7 p.m. And Saints football closes out the regular season with the College of Idaho on Saturday at noon. We'll see you there.